Hello friends. In my last discussion, I have discussed what is basically continuous time signal and what is basically discrete time signal. Now let me cover another important topic. What do we understand by continuous amplitude signal and what do we understand by discrete amplitude signal? So this is very very important because students facing confusion in the discussion of continuous amplitude signal and discrete amplitude signal. Now let me cover first what is basically continuous amplitude signal. Continuous amplitude signal. So in this topic, I have already discussed whenever you are dealing with a signal, any signal, that means you can represent the signal mathematically in this manner, x is a function of time. Here t is basically known as the independent variable and x is basically known as dependent variable. That means x depends on t and whenever you just plot over the abscissa you have to take actually time and over the ordinate you have to take x. x means x is a function of time. So here this is basically the plane you have made and over this plane whatever the plot you will draw that is basically known as signal plot. Now see, this axis is known as a time axis, this axis is known as amplitude axis. X is a function of time, T is a time variable, X is amplitude variable. That means here X represents amplitude, T represents time. So with respect to time, the signal having two classifications, what I have already told, one is continuous time, other is discrete time. With respect to amplitude, the signal also having two classifications, one you can say continuous amplitude, other you can say discrete amplitude. So this part I have already covered, that means with respect to time, the signal having two classifications, continuous time signal and discrete time signal. I have already discussed what is basically continuous time signal and what is basically discrete time signal. Now let me explain. What is basically continuous amplitude signal? Because with respect to amplitude, it also having two classification. One you can say continuous amplitude signal, other you can say discrete amplitude signal. Now let me cover first part. What is basically continuous amplitude signal? See, this is very important. Whenever you are discussing, now let us relate with respect to continuous time signal so that you can have better clarity. Now in case of continuous time signal, what you did, you have taken all points over the time axis from minus infinity to plus infinity. Every point, each and every point you have considered there and you are thinking that all the points on the time axis are within a set. That means you have considered a set, you have previously thought a set and within that set you have put all the time points over the time axis. This is the time axis, you have put all the time points over the time axis within the set and if you define any signal that means you have to consider all the time points suppose this is the draw this is the draw means this is basically the draw of a signal because you are plotting over this plane time versus x plane so that means this is basically signal plot now in this signal plot you are bound to consider every point for defining the signal. That means this point, which point? Time point. This time point, what is the value? 0. This time point, what is the value? 0. This time point, you are having this value. This time point, you are having this value. That means every time point, every time point you are considering and over, over, over the signal, every time point you can say exists. What does it mean? Then at this point, if you consider time point exists. This you just consider time point exist. This you consider time point exist. The time point is zero. Or in reverse, you can say for each and every time the signal having the value. This time signal value zero. This time signal value zero. This time signal having value. This time signal having value. That is every time point the signal having values 
and what time points you are considering? You are considering all time points from minus infinity to plus infinity. That is why you are saying that that signal is basically continuous time signal. Again, I am repeating, whenever you are discussing continuous time signal, you are considering each and every time point over the time axis and you are defining for each and every time point over the time axis. Because you have already taken a set which is known as a predefined set and within that set you have put all points over the time axis and you are defining the thing at all points on the time axis and if at all points on the time axis you are having the signal value that means you are saying that this signal is basically known as continuous time signal. Now let us discuss a very continuous amplitude signal. Again same thing you just do. This is your time axis, this is your xt. Now this axis is amplitude axis. Now here what you want to do? Again you just imagine a set. What is that set? Within that set you just put all the points on the amplitude axis, not on the time axis. Now every point you just consider over the amplitude axis and all these points you just put within a set. Now this is suppose a set. Now you just put all the points, all the points, all the points. Now, if in the definition of the signal, you are taking, you are considering all the amplitude points. That means, suppose you are having this signal. Now here, if you consider these amplitude points, you are having a time value. If you consider this amplitude point, you are having a time value. If you consider this amplitude point, you are having a time value. If you consider this amplitude point, you are having a time value 0. That means for all amplitude points, you are getting time points. That means you can say, in other words, time points are defined for each and every amplitude points over the amplitude axis. Whatever the range you just take, suppose this range. Now within this range, whatever the amplitude points you have, for every amplitude points you will definitely get a time point. Not within this range, whatever the range you just consider. Within this we are getting time point, within this also we are getting time point, time point zero. Just like this, in case of continuous time. Now after this, here we are taking time points, but what are the amplitude values? Zero, 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 zero. Similarly, here you just consider the amplitude points, what are the time values? Zero, 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 zero. This is time value, zero, 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 zero. No problem. Getting my point? It's very simple. That means how is this to explain continuous amplitude signal? For explanation of a continuous amplitude signal, what you will do? You just think a set. This set is the set of all amplitude points on the amplitude axis. Then, if for all amplitude points over the amplitude axis, you are defining the time points. That means you are saying that time points exist every amplitude points there must be a time point on the signal then that signal is basically known as continuous amplitude signal very simple so i think there is no confusion so whenever we are discussing continuous time signal you just take all the time points within the set and for all time points you are defining amplitude whenever you are considering discrete amp uh, sorry, whenever you are considering continuous amplitude signal you just take all the amplitude points and for all amplitude points you just define time. If it is possible, then you can say that this is continuous amplitude signal. If it is not possible, then you can say that this is basically not continuous amplitude signal. Okay? So it is very simple. So what is basically continuous amplitude signal? A signal is said to be continuous in amplitude if for every point over the amplitude axis, again I am repeating, a signal is said to be continuous amplitude signal if for every point over the amplitude axis time points are defined that means you are getting time values on the signal whatever the signal is drawn you can get for every amplitude points time values this point time value this this point time value this every amplitude point you can get the time value that means you can say sir this point what is the time value zero what is the time value zero that means you are getting time values you are saying time values for every amplitude point you are saying time values so that is why this particular signal is known as continuous amplitude signal. So 
I think actually it is uh, very clear. So after discussion of all these uh, classification, that means uh, continuous time signal, discrete time signal, continuous amplitude signal, discrete amplitude signal, then I will say what is analog signal, what is digital signal. Uh, then I will give so many examples, which signals are analog signals, which signals are digital signals, which signals are continuous time signal, which signals are continuous amplitude signal, which signals are discrete time signal, which signals are discrete amplitude signal, which signals are continuous time, continuous amplitude, continuous time, discrete amplitude, con discrete time, continuous amplitude, discrete time, discrete amplitude, every classification I will make. So please, time to time, you just see my videos and don't forget to subscribe. This is my sincere request to you. Please sus subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that whatever the notification, so that will reach to you first. Thank you. Thank you very much.